Firstly, we have to. Uh, I will tell you about the what is respiratory system, and how to auscultate the lungs. What are the areas, and what are uh, what are the spaces where the stethoscope rightly placed. Auscultation of lung is the one of the most important examination uh, uh, examination for us is the respiratory diseases or a illness or a complaints. अगर कोई पेशेंट हमारे पास आता है विद द कंप्लेन ऑफ कफ ठीक है तो हम सबसे पहले क्या है सिर्फ ऑडियो आ रही है वो मैंने तो वीडियो के साथ करा है वीडियो नहीं आ रही मेरी नहीं मैडम वीडियो नहीं आ रही नहीं वीडियो नहीं आ रही सिर्फ ऑडियो आ रही है आपके पास मैंने तो योर नेटवर्क इज बैंड विद स्लो आ रही है लिखा हुआ ना दोबारा दोबारा करें मैडम आप देखें नहीं है एक मिनट सब लोग आ चुके हैं स्कोप फॉर द ऑस्कुलेशन ऑफ द लंग्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर क्लास सबसे पहले क्या करेंगे पेशेंट आएगा विद द कंप्लेन ऑफ कप तो हम उसको सबसे पहले उसको सेटिंग पोजीशन में एट द 45 डिग्री एंगल की पोजीशन में हम उसको बिठाएंगे स्टार्ट अवर द एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द प्रेस लेवल कॉलर बोन लाइक दिस दिस वन यहाँ से हम यहाँ पर अपना हम स्ट्रगल को प्लेस करेंगे ठीक है उस पर देन हेयर द साउंड ऑफ नॉर्मल ब्रेथ साउंड नॉर्मल ब्रेथ ब्रेथ साउंड हमारे पास हमारी कौन सी होती है ब्रंको वेस्कुलर साउंड ठीक है जो कि नॉर्मली हमें सुनाई देगी पेशेंट विद द कंप्लेन ऑफ आर डी एस acute respiratory distress syndrome or a uh, copd patient chronic chronic obstruction pulmonary disease ka patient hoga to hum us examination is start karne ke liye hum kya karenge aaj patient take a consent introduce yourself first ठीक है wash your hand take a consent and start your examination examination start karne se pehle make a position at 45 degree angle then start from the supra clavicular line point collar bone place your hands over the supra clavicular down line for the for hearing the normal breath sound and then downward for the first intercostal space first intercostal space pe hame kaun sa milega normal sound normal bronchovascular sound theek hai if a patient if a just agar koi patient hai uh, asthma ka patient hai ya copd ka patient hai ya ards ka patient hai to usme hame kya uh, different kaun sa milega hame एडवांटेजियस साउंड मिलेगा वेजिंग साउंड हमें मिलेंगे ट्रैकल साउंड मिलेंगे ठीक है सबसे पहले हम क्या करेंगे अब स्टार्ट करेंगे इंटीरियर चेस्ट इंटीरियर चेस्ट क्या करेंगे प्लेस द डायफ्राम ऑफ द स्टेथोस्कोप फ्रॉम द राइट सुपर क्लेविकुलर लाइन हियरिंग द फर्स्ट नॉर्मल ब्रेथ साउंड कहां पे हमें मिलेगा नॉर्मल ब्रेथ साउंड सुपर क्लेविकुलर लाइन पे ठीक है उसमें अब क्या होगा फिर फ्रॉम सुपर क्लियर लाइन फ्रॉम जस्ट ब्लू फर्स्ट इंटरकोस्ट मिलेगा उस पर हम अपना स्टेटस को फाइंड करेंगे उस पर हमें क्या मिलेगा नॉर्मल ब्रंको वेस्कुलर साउंड मिलेगा फ्रॉम द राइट साइड एंड द लेफ्ट साइड बोथ साइड को प्लेस कर 
पहले हमने राइट साइड से एग्जामिन करा राइट साइड का साउंड सुना फिर हमने लेफ्ट साइड से एग्जामिन करा फिर हमने लेफ्ट साइड का साउंड सुना सेम लाइक दिस हम क्या करेंगे टॉप टू बॉटम फर्स्ट इंटरकोस्टल स्पेस फ्रॉम राइट टू लेफ्ट साइड सेकेंड इंटरकोस्टल स्पेस फ्रॉम राइट टू लेफ्ट साइड हम हेयर करेंगे ठीक है अब ये हमारा क्या हो गया इंटीरियर इंटीरियर चेस्ट एग्जामिनेशन हमारा कंप्लीट हो गया इस हम कौन कौन से साउंड करेंगे वी विल बी डिस्कस फॉर अ लेटर अब हमें क्या करना है अब हमें पेशेंट को क्या कहेंगे इंस्ट्रक्ट द पेशेंट टू लीन फॉरवर्ड एंड क्रॉस आर्म इन फ्रंट ठीक है पेशेंट को कहेंगे कि फॉरवर्ड हो जाए और उसके आर्म बिल्कुल स्ट्रेट हो जाए बिगिन ऑस्कुटेशन एरिया अबाउट टू इंचेस अब टू इंचेस सॉरी टू इंचेस बिलो द शोल्डर लाइन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड स्कैपुला ठीक है टू इंचेस बिलो यहां पर हम अपना क्या करेंगे क्या करेंगे वी विल प्लेस आवर स्टेथोस्कोप जस्ट बिलो द स्कैपुला एंड ऑस्कल्टेट फ्रॉम साइड टू साइड फ्रॉम राइट साइड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट साइड फ्रॉम राइट साइड फ्रॉम लेफ्ट साइड एंड नोटिफाई द बल और आई एब नॉर्मल साउंड which you hear kaafi sari request hamare paas aa chuki hai then we will start from the lateral side lateral side examination lateral side pe kya karenge instruct madam madam presentation nahi hai this presentation shared kar do Normal breathing, which is called 
नॉर्मल सॉरी वेस्कुलर ब्रीदिंग इसमें क्या होगा हमारा ये हमें कहां पर फाइंड आउट होगी वेन इंस्पिरेशन एंड एक्सपिरेशन ठीक है जब कोई पेशेंट पेशेंट या पर्सन इंस्पायर और एक्सपायर करता है तो हमें कौन सा साउंड मिलता है नॉर्मल ब्रंक्यू वेस्कुलर साउंड ठीक है ये हमारा कौन सा साउंड है नॉर्मल वेस्कुलर नॉर्मल ब्रंको वेस्कुलर इज इट क्लियर एंड नाउ एंड नाउ कम टू द एबनॉर्मल साउंड एबनॉर्मल साउंड में हमारे पास क्या क्या चीज आ रही है एडवेंटिशियस विच इज कॉल्ड ट्रैकल साउंड ट्रैकल कब हमें फाइंड आउट होगा इन केस ऑफ सी ओ पी डी पेशेंट एजमा पेशेंट या असिस्टेंट कॉल एक्यूट प्रोनरी सॉरी एक्यूट रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस इस पर हमें क्रैकल साउंड लेंगे क्रैकल साउंड किस टाइप के होंगे लाइक अ रेल जैसे ट्रेन की रेल होती है हमें साउंड फाइंड आउट होगा और वी साउंड सेकंड हमारे पास क्या है वी साउंड वी हमें कब मिलेगा वी कैन फाइंड आउट इन सीओपीडी पेशेंट सीओपीडी पेशेंट ऑन द एक्सपिरेशन एक्सपिरेशन पे हमें क्या मिलेगा वेजिंग साउंड मिलेगा इन द पेशेंट सीओपीडी और एजमा के पेशेंट होंगे उनमें हमें क्या मिलेगा वेजिंग साउंड मिलेगा ऑन द एक्सपिरेशन पे देन रोंकाय रोंकाय की क्या होगी पिच उसकी लो होगी लेकिन वो भी हमें सेम वीजिंग की तरह होगा लेकिन क्या होगा उसमें वो भी हमें एक्सपिरेशन पे मिलेगा कंटिन्यूस म्यूजिकल साउंड होगा सिमिलर टू द वीज इज इट क्लियर नाउ स्टार्ट ऑन मी पालन और पानी की बोतल ले जाए स्ट्राइडर साउंड हमें कब मिलेगा इंस्पिरेशन पे साउंड एंड द रोंकाय साउंड फाइंड आउट ऑन द एक्सपिरेशन एंड स्ट्राइडर साउंड यू कैन फाइंड आउट ऑन द इंस्पिरेशन म्यूजिकल बीज जब कोई ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन हो रही होगी कहां पर ट्रेक्टर या लरिंग्स में तब हमें क्या मिलेगा स्ट्राइडर साउंड मिलेगा over the trachea on the inspiration now pleural rub what is pleural rub and where the found we have to found pleural rub sound pleural rub sound we can find out on the inspiration or the expiration in the patient of copd ards or asthma और वन मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज जिसको प्योर इफ्यूजन होगी उसमें हमें प्योर रब मिलेगा जैसे कोई चीज आपस में आके रब होती है इस टाइप का हमें साउंड फाइंड आउट होगा ब्रशिंग साउंड कहाँ पर फाइंड आउट होगा ऑन द चेस्ट वॉल ठीक है स्ट्राइडर कहाँ पर फाइंड आउट होगा ऑन द चेस्ट वॉल ऑन द इंस्परेशन और एक्सप्रेशन लाइक अ ब्रशिंग साउंड जब ब्रश को आपस में रब करते हैं तो कैसा साउंड रहता है लाइक दिस ये साउंड हमें कहां पे मिलेगा स्ट्राइडर में ठीक है अब हमने वो थ्रू कर लेते हैं थोड़ा सा उसके बाद वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल की तरफ जाएंगे फर्स्टली क्या होगा सबसे पहले द ऑस्कल्टेशन ऑफ दम इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जामिनेशन फॉर अस इज द पैथोलॉजी प्लियर और मेडिकल इलनेस वी हैव वट आर द इंडिकेशन वट आर द इंडिकेशन वेन द पेशेंट कम पेशेंट कब पेशेंट किस कंप्लेन के साथ आंखों के साथ आएगा फॉर द कफ और अ क्रोनिक कफ क्रोनिक कफ लीड टू द सी ओ पी डी एंड ठीक है उसके बाद क्या होगा ये कंप्लेन के साथ आएगा चेस्ट पेन के साथ भी आ सकता है नोडल एंजाइना पेन लाइक चेस्ट पेन फॉर द एक्यूट एक्यूट डिजीज एक्यूट सॉरी उसकी फॉर क्या कहते हैं नमूनिया लाइक दिस डिजीज एंड देन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द 
इंटीरियर चेस्ट वॉल इंटीरियर चेस्ट वॉल में क्या होगा सुपरा क्लेविकुलर लाइन यू हैव टू प्लेस योर स्टेथोस्कोप ऑन द सुपरा सुपरा क्लेविकुलर लाइन फॉर द हियरिंग फॉर हियरिंग द नॉर्मल ब्रेथ साउंड देन प्लेस प्लेस योर स्टेथोस्कोप फ्रॉम द राइट साइड राइट इंटरकोस्टल स्पेस जस्ट ब्लो द सुपरा क्लेविकुलर लाइन if you done your right side then you have uh, you can uh, hear from the left side theek hai first right side se karna hai fir left side se aap calls auscultate from right side and left side top to bottom jana hai is it clear anterior chest wall ka aur chest wall ho gaya ab hame posterior chest ka kya karna hai just blow the shoulder blade So, which is called scapula. Scapula is just below the two inches. हमें क्या करना है? So that we place करना है intercostal space में. वहाँ पर फिर हमें जो normal sound या abnormal sound हमें find out होगा. तो हमें क्या करना है? Notify करना है. Then posterior chest को हमने find out करना है और उसकी हमें sound hear करना है. Posterior chest में क्या होगा? Posterior chest में क्या कहेंगे? Patient को raise your hand over the head. and examine the mid axillary line below the uh, eight uh, seven below the seven intercostal space ke pass kya hoga hame eight intercostal space find out hogi usme hame status ko place karna hai is it clear anterior posterior and lateral side anterior pe kahan pe hoga supraclavicular line and just below the supraclavicular line is the start first intercostal space and posterior chest में क्या होगा हमारा जस्ट ब्लो द स्केपुलर स्केपुलर जस्ट ब्लो द शोल्डर ब्लेड शोल्डर ब्लेड फ्रॉम द पोस्टर जस्ट ब्लो द शोल्डर ब्लेड यू कैन फेस योर स्टेथोस्कोप यू कैन फाइंड आउट यू कैन हियर द नॉर्मल साउंड और एब नॉर्मल साउंड ठीक है एंड नोटिफाई द विच यू कैन हियर देन लेटरल साइड लेटर साइड को हमें क्या करना है एट इंटर पोस्टर स्पेस पे फाइंड आउट करना इज इट क्लियर Sides are clear. ठीक है. Now, uh, एक roughly uh, go through हो जाए. How many types of the, how many types of sound? कितने types की sounds होती हैं? Is a normal sound. Normal sound में हमारे पास क्या क्या मिलेंगी? Normal bronchovascular sound, which is we we can hear the sound on the inspiration or expiration. ठीक है. Then. Abnormal sound. Abnormal sound. Me, our bus. What will we get? Adventitious crackle sound. What is crackle sound? Crackle sound is like a rail. Rail sound. We will find out. Like if any rail train is going to pass, that kind of sound we will find out. Okay? Here we will find out. And in which patient will it be? ARDS. Acute chronic acute respiratory distress. Acute chronic acute respiratory distress syndrome. Which patient will it be? ARDS. Acute chronic acute respiratory distress syndrome. Which patient will it be? ARDS. Acute chronic acute respiratory distress syndrome. Which patient will it be? ARDS. Acute chronic acute respiratory distress syndrome. Which patient will it be? ARDS. Acute chronic acute respiratory distress syndrome. Which patient will it be? ARDS. Acute chronic acute respiratory distress syndrome. Which patient will it be? ARDS. क्रैकल साउंड फाइंड आउट होगा अभी मैं सब आप अभी मैं आप लोगों को इसके साउंड की वीडियो भी दिखाऊंगी और आपको मोर क्लियर हो जाएगा इसके बाद हमारे पास क्या वीजिंग साउंड व्हाट इज वीज वीज इज लाइक अ विस्टल ठीक जैसे किसी ने कोई सीटी बिठा दी हो ये इन पेशेंट में आपको फाइंड आउट होगा ये इन पेशेंट में आपको आवाज सुनने को मिलेगी सीओपीडी के पेशेंट में मोस्टली किस में मिलता है सीओपीडी के पेशेंट में प्रोनरी uh, सीओपीडी के पेशेंट में मिलता है क्रोनेरी ऑब्सट्रक्ट पल्मोनरी डिजीज के पेशेंट में हमें क्या मिलेगा वीजिंग साउंड मिलेंगे कहाँ पे मिलेंगे एक्सपरेशन पे मिलेंगे जब पेशेंट एक्सपायर कर रहा है एक्सप्रेट कर रहा है वो अपना साउंड ब्रेथ साउंड तो हम मिलेगा वीज साउंड मिलेगा रोंगकाय का क्या होगा रोंगकाय भी हमें एक्सप्रेशन पे मिलेगा बट इसका इसका म्यूजिक क्या क्या होगा लाइक द म्यूजिकल साउंड इस टाइप का आपको साउंड हेयर होगा जैसा कि किसी ने म्यूजिक चला दिया किसमें होगा ये रोंग टाइम में वीजिंग में क्या होगा लाइक अ विस्टल साउंड किसी ने सीटी बजाई है और ऑन द एक्सप्रेशन रोंग टाइम का भी क्या होगा स्ट्राइड सॉरी रोंग टाइम का भी क्या होगा म्यूजिकल साउंड होगा ऑन द एक्सप्रेशन अब स्ट्राइडर में क्या होगा स्ट्राइडर में हमें क्या मिलेगा म्यूजिकल बी साउंड म्यूजिकल भी होगा बी साउंड भी होगा मतलब कार्य होंगे लेकिन ऑन द इंस्परेशन इज इट क्लियर ऑन द इंस्परेशन करेंगे ओवर द ट्रेकिया अब 
प्लूरर अब हमें किस पे मिलेगा जिस पे प्लूरर इफ्यूजन हो रही होगी ठीक है ओवर द ट्रेकिया इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर अब नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू आवर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल Introduction. The patient history determines the scope and intensity of the chest examination. When the history and condition of the presence of a chest problem, the physical examination of the thorax must be expanded beyond the minimal screening examination and determine the nature of the problem so that the diagnosis can be made. Technique. The pulmonary examination consists of inspection. Palpation, percussion, and auscultation. What to observe during auscultation? Breath sounds, vestibular, bronchovestibular, or bronchial. Vocal resonance, bronchophony, whispering, tetralogy, egophony, added sounds, pleural rub, releases, or cracking. Procedure. अभी तो बस ये कर लू मैं फिर नेक्स्ट टाइम पे Suggests that the sound is traveling through a mass of fluid. 
vocal resonance is decreased in pneumonia and emphysema. It is increased in consolidation. Ask the patient to whisper one, two, three to assess for whispering technique. A clear and audible one, two, three could indicate a consolidation. This is the this is all of the video is basically from the respiratory system. Now I will show you more video which is from the lung sound basically. Okay. Or at the end of the lecture, I will share uh, our URL from this video. Hi, and welcome to this video on lung sounds. Lung sounds, or breath sounds, refer to the sounds heard when, it, heard when air moves through the respiratory system. These are easily identified by auscultation or listening to the lung fills with a stethoscope. The lung sounds are classified according to the sounds involved during inhalation and exhalation of the breath cycle, taking note of the pitch and intensity. Normal breath sounds include wheezing, which sound like low pitch wheezing, strider, crackles, also known as rails, and these may be further classified as fine or coarse, and pleural friction row. Let's start with wheezing. Wheezing is caused by the narrowing of the airways and is associated with asthma, bronchitis, pneumonia, sea, smoking, heart failure, inhaling a foreign object into the lung or an allergic reaction. Wheezing sounds may occur during inhalation or exhalation and with a musical quality. The class of wheeze refers to the high-pitched whistle-like sound heard during exhalation as air moves through a narrow or obstructed airway. Listen to the following wheezing lung sounds. These may also be lower pitch, in which they are referred to as bronchite. Bronchite sounds have a continuous, snoring, or rattle like quality. Bronchi occur in the bronchi as air moves through tracheal bronchial passages coated with mucus or respiratory secretion. This is often heard in pneumonia, chronic bronchitis, or cystic fibrosis. Bronchi usually clear after coughing. Strider is a high-pitched musical sound heard on inspiration, which resembles wheezing. When listening with a stethoscope, if the sound is louder over the throat, it is strider, not wheezing. Air is moving roughly over a partially obstructed upper airway. Strider is caused something blocked larynx, 
such as a person choking on an object. Strider can also be heard in a person with an infection, swelling in the throat, or laryngospasm. You may frequently hear Strider in children, as they are more likely to choke and more likely to get childhood infections like croup. Strider can indicate a medical emergency if not enough oxygen is able to get through the airways. Listen to the sound of Strider. Crackles are sounds that are heard in the lung field that have fluid in the small airways. Crackles can be heard on inspiration and expiration. Early inspiratory and expiratory crackles are heard in chronic bronchitis. Late inspiratory crackles may indicate pneumonia, CHF, or atelectasis, a complete or partial collapse of the lung or lobe of the lung. They are broken down into fine crackles and coarse crackles. Fine crackles are high pitched, brief, discontinuous, popping. Fine crackles sound like wood burning in a fireplace or being crumpled. Fine crackles usually start at the base of the lung, where there is fluid in the lung. As the fluid fills the lungs more, fine crackles can be heard closer and closer to the top of the lung. Coarse crackles sound like coarse, rattling, crackling sound, but are louder, longer, and lower in pitch than fine crackles. They are described as a bubbling sound, as when pouring water out of the bottles or like breathing. <laughs> This is often heard in pleurisy, or inflammation of the tissues that line the lungs and chest cavities. The sound may be continuous or broken, and creaking or grating. It can be described as the sound of walking on fresh snow or rubbing leather together. The sound of plural rubs occurs every time the patient inhales and exhales. Plural rubs come and go, are not altered with coughing, can usually be localized to a specific location on the chest wall and will stop when the patient holds their breath. Remember, if there is a loss of breath sounds in an area, it probably indicates a pneumothorax or collapsed lung in which there is no air movement in that area. Let's go over a quick review. Wheezing is a musical noise during inspiration or expiration, usually louder during expiration and continuous. Ronchi receive low-pitched music. They are rumbling, hoarse sounds like a snore during inspiration or expiration, and continuous. It can be with coughing. Strider is a high-pitched musical sound heard on inspiration, resembling wheezing. However, the sound is louder over the throat due to a partially obstructed airway. Crackles are high-pitched, discontinuous sounds during inspiration, not cleared by a cough, and further defined as fine and coarse. Plural friction rub occurs during inhalation and exhalation, may be continuous or broken, and creaking or grating. They stop when the patient holds their breath. Thank you for watching this video on lung sound. For other useful tips, check out our other videos. Now, last video is Rails and rails versus bronchi. What is the difference between rails means crackle sound versus bronchi? Here is the video. We're going to start to focus on rails versus bronchi. Now, rails versus bronchi are very important. And you may be asking yourself, why do I need to know that for step one? And the answer is pretty simple. Questions on step one. They're going to describe the physical exam findings. 
And if you can interpret those physical exam findings correctly, then it already gives you an image in your head of where the pathology within the question may be anatomically. So after CT, you will be able to understand that if they tell you that there are rails or crackles or bronchi or wheezing, you'll immediately already begin to form a differential diagnosis, which will help you eliminate incorrect answer choices on your step of exam. So being able to be familiar with rails versus wrong guy is an anatomy concept, and then to take it a step further and apply it to the pathology within the question. So we're gonna talk about the main differences versus rails versus wrong guy. First, I'll give you the normal, then I'll give you my mnemonic to remember your difference, and then we'll sum up again. So with rails, it's often used interchangeably with the word crackles. Now the rails or the crackles occur at the level of the alveoli. Now we recall that the alveoli are the most distal or terminal portion of the respiratory tree or the respiratory system. Rails occur at the most distal portion of the respiratory system, the alveoli. Bronchi, on the other hand, are going to be used interchangeably with the word wheezing. Now, when you think of fluid problem anatomically, so after today's video, you'll be able to understand that if they tell you that there are rails or crackles or bronchi or wheezing, you'll immediately already begin to form a differential diagnosis, which will help you eliminate incorrect answer choices on your step one exam. So being able to be familiar with rails versus bronchi is an anatomy concept. And then you take it a step further and apply it to the pathology within the question. So we're going to talk about the main differences versus rails versus wrong guy. First, I'll give you the normal, then I'll give you my mnemonic for remembering the difference, and then we'll summarize it again. So with rails, it's often used interchangeably with the word crackles. Now the rails or the crackles occur at the level of the alveoli. Now recall that the alveoli are the most distal or terminal portion of the respiratory tree or the respiratory system. So rails occur at the most distal portion of the respiratory system, the alveoli. Bronchi, on the other hand, are going to be used interchangeably with the word wheezing. Now, bronchi or wheezing occurs in the large airways or at the level of the bronchus or the bronchi. So, again, in summary, so far, rails or crackles occur at alveoli. Bronchi or wheezing occurs at the bronchus. So, here is my mnemonic remembering this major, major difference rails in the tails, bronchi in the bronchi. This is one of my favorite demonics because for the longest time, I had no idea what rails were wrong. I were. So when I would read a, a question and it was a pulmonary question in the Q banks, they'd be like, blah, 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 patient presents with this, that, and the other, and crackles are heard at the left lung base, or bronchi are heard in the uh, right middle of the lobe. And I'd be like, I have no fucking idea what they're talking about. So I took it upon myself to create this mnemonic, and it's really gone a long way for me. I think it will for you guys as well. So rails in the tails, tails refer to like the end the tail of the respiratory system. So alveoli are the, like literally last thing involved in the respiratory tree. So rails in the tails. Bronchi and the bronchi is just beautiful. It tells you exactly where they are and it's easy to remember. Now, the one thing that I want to point out that's not on this slide but will be in the summary is that rails are usually due to fluid overload or fluid accumulation. So if you have a pneumonia and you have fluid build up in the alveoli, or if you have pulmonary edema and you have fluid build up in the alveoli, you're going to hear those rails, those crackling noises that kind of sound like you're rolling crumpled up paper in your finger. If you have bronchi, it's typically inflammatory in nature. So people who have an asthma attack have wheezing because there's constriction of the large airways. Maybe there's mucus plugging of the large airways. That's bronchi. So bronchi is more inflammatory and rails tend to be more fluid related. And if you can just remember rails in the tails, it'll make sense because in this image, if fluid accumulates in the bronchi, it'll probably flow downstream into the, into the uh, alveoli. So when you think of fluid problems, you really think of alveoli as dealing with the, uh, the front of that dam. So once again, rails in the tails, bronchi in the bronchi. So here's my summary slide. Rails are crackly noises. They occur at the level of the alveoli. They are discontinuous because if you've ever heard what the crackling noise sounds like, it's not one continuous sound. It's kind of like it's discontinuous. That's a, that's a rail. And it's due to fluid overload. A bronchi, on the other hand, is a wheezy type of sound. It occurs at the large airways. Remember, bronchi, bronchi. It's continuous. So when someone has bronchi, it'll kind of sound like. Ee. 
You hear that each of those bronchi are continuous. And it's inflammatory in nature. It's due to mucus plugging of the large airways. It's inflammation within the airways. So just remember, guys, rails of the tails, bronchi of the bronchi. From there, you can take it a step further and probably remember all of the other details surrounding rails versus bronchi. And this is huge, huge for you because if a question tells you that you hear bronchi in the right middle lobe, then all of a sudden, you can rule out things that are probably less likely. So you can rule out fluid accumulation of the alveoli and whatever would cause that. And you can start to think of a more inflammatory cause. Maybe this person has asthma. Maybe they're just mucus plugs. You never know, but it, it's going to help you get to the correct answer much, much faster if you understand the difference in the anatomy. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Good luck studying. Okay, sub to go video dekhi. Is everything is clear? Everything is clear. Okay. Mm. Now I will give you a short brief. Firstly, we have to start about the auscultation of the lungs. Auscultation of the lungs is the most important examination to assess the, to assess, to assess the disease or illness. Okay. Patient comes with a complaint of cupping or a chronic cup. In, in this patient, we have to examine, we have to auscultate the lungs in this patient. Okay. And then start from the interior side. Interior side from the supraclavicular line, which is called collarbone. Place your stethoscope on the supraclavicular line. Place your stethoscope on the supraclavicular line for hearing the normal breath sound. And then, and then, uh, place your stethoscope. Just blow the first intercostal spread. Just blow the supra, uh, supraclavicular line. Okay, place your stethoscope from the right side to hearing for hearing the normal breath sound and and from the right side and from the left side. Is it clear? And from top to bottom. This pattern you follow for the auscultation of the lungs. This is the interior chest. Okay, and now we are going to the posterior chest. Posterior, posterior chest from the just below the scapula. Just below the two inches below the scapula. Uh, place of the stethoscope, place of the stethoscope, just below the scapula. Uh, scap scapula, which is also called shoulder blades. Okay? Just below the scapula, we have to place it. What we have to do is clear a rough sound or any abnormal sound. We can hear from here. Then, what will happen in lateral chest? What will we say? What will we say? Tell to the patient, instruct the patient to uh, oh, raise your hand over the head and then place your stethoscope. Place your stethoscope on the eighth intercostal space for hearing the normal or abnormal sound. This is clear. This is an auscultation of the lens. And then start the hearing sound. What is what type of the sound and how many types? This is the first thing is the normal sound. Normal breath sound is a branchiovascular sound, which is, which you can hear on the inspiration or the expiration. And then the abnormal sound. Abnormal sound is that adventitious, like a crackle sound. Crackle sound is like a real sound. In uh, which patient, uh, which patient may you crackle sound find out yoga? On uh, in the ARDS patient, acute respiratory distress syndrome, may you can hear the crackle or real sound. Is it clear? And then wheezing. Wheezing is a is wheezing like a whistle sound. Just like someone has played a CD. In the in this patient, you will find out why it on the CO, in the COPD patient, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Wale patient, you will find which sound will uh, get wheezing sound like a whistle. Okay, on the expiration. Who will get the? Who will get on the expiration?
on the expiration इसपे हमें मिलेगा ऑन द एक्सप्रेशन पे हमें क्या मिलेगा वेजिंग साउंड मिलेगा और रोंकाई साउंड रोंकाई साउंड क्या होगा रोंकाई साउंड इज अ म्यूजिकल वी साउंड म्यूजिकल वी साउंड हमें कहां पर मिलेगा रोंकाय में ऑन द एक्सप्रेशन ऑन द एक्सप्रेशन ऑन द एक्सप्रेशन हमें क्या मिलेगा रोंकाय साउंड और वीजिंग साउंड बट द डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन रोंकाय और द वीजिंग वीजिंग ऑन इन द सीओपीडी पेशेंट एंड रोंकाय इज ऑल रोंकाय इज इज सॉरी वीजिंग इज द सीओपीडी पेशेंट एंड लाइक अ डिजिटल साउंड एंड रोंकाय इज अ लाइक द म्यूजिकल साउंड ऑन फाइन यू कैन हियर ऑन द एक्सप्रेशन नाउ द स्ट्राइडर स्ट्राइडर is uh, strider is like a musical bees is a combination of a musical bees sound is called strider and you can hear the strider sound on the inspiration is it clear and then and then pleural rub what is pleural rub or pleural rub hame kaam le milega over the trachea over over the trachea on the inspiration is it clear everything is clear theek hai a question is that theek hai wheezing sound where we where we will put the stethoscope the stethoscope put on the lung just second or third intercostal space you can hear the wheezing sound easily on in the copd or a asthma patient theek hai on uh, in the second or third intercostal space aapko find out ho jayega how and other question is that how to count intercostal space okay this is a supraclavicular line which is called collarbone like this you can feel your own theek hai इसमें हमें क्या करना है जस्ट ब्लो द सुपरा क्लेविकुलर लाइन जस्ट ब्लो द सुपरा क्लेविकुलर लाइन इज अ स्पेस ठीक है जस्ट ब्लो द सुपरा क्लेविकुलर लाइन इज अ स्पेस ठीक है इज दिस स्पेस बिटवीन फर्स्ट इंटरकोस्टल एंड सुपरा क्लेविकुलर लाइन This is called first intercostal space. You can face your stethoscope first intercostal space, like from right side to left side, from right side to left side. Is it clear? Any question? Hope this session will be. Hope this session is interactive. Okay. now it's time to almost end of the class mohammad wakas ka message aaya hai no what is no for what can you define any question about the auscultation of the lens acha ek aur baat maine aap logon ko यू आर एल सेंड करना है ठीक है एनी क्वेश्चन ओके नो मोर क्वेश्चन का मैसेज आया है ठीक है नाउ दिस इज द हैंड सैनिटाइजर स्टे सेफ एंड स्टे हेल्थ Thank you so much. Hello, G, madam, and G, and further, madam.